Last night I played a crypto game, and it was actually fun. The game is Shrapnel, and it's in Early Access right now. In order to join the Early Access, well, you need to buy an operator from them. Two ways you can do it, you can either pay the 20, 50 or 100 dollars for each one of these three operators, or you can just join Tokenize 360, the crypto gaming specific newsletter. First link in the description, it's a newsletter by the Mindblow team for you guys. It's completely free to subscribe in. You will enter a pool where you can win shrapnel codes for free. Now, why would you do that? Well, first of all, the tournament that's going on right now, it's only for the early access players, and there's a hundred thousand dollars to be won. Where the first place will win 10,000, the second place right here will win 5,000, third place will win 2,500, and so on. So these are the current standings. As you can see, Inspector Mindblow is not amongst the first three, and there's a very good reason for that. You know, I'm an absolute boss gamer. First of all, I'm gonna give you my first impressions on Shrapnel. We're gonna go over their coin, Shrap, which is currently trading at 21 cents, and then we're gonna explain what their goal with the game is post-early access. Let's begin. Oh yeah, subscribe to the channel, and always forget. Anyway, my first game I entered, I found this little canister uh, that holds a mysterious substance. I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. All I know about the game is that I need to extract something from the map. Now, you extract these little sigma thingies. Now, the more you extract, the higher place you're gonna be on the leaderboard. Very simple. First place wins $10,000. Now, there's many things I wanna address, and let's okay. start with the obvious one, the gameplay. How fun is it? Okay, well, Why is it fun? It. Or maybe you want me to address the lack of textures in the gameplay we see right now. We're gonna get to that. Don't worry, I will bash on it. Even though it's early access, I absolutely will. But I'll also talk about some good things I saw. Anyway, why is it fun? Well, you collect this thing. Now, you gotta extract it by going on a certain point on the map, staying there for 10 seconds, and you can't be eliminated in the meantime. If someone else comes along and everybody sees on the map where it's happening, so if somebody else comes along, eliminates you, they can take the Sigma off you and you don't get to keep it so it's not just about picking it up you also cannot lose it so at this point I was just testing out the controls and trying to give my first impressions on what I think of the game my very first game very first time even starting up I didn't know what to do um <laughs> I barely knew the controls just from other FPS games I've played and and lo and behold I found my first Sigma depository although at that point in my gameplay I didn't necessarily know what it is right, I so I did like, pick up the Sigma either way. Oh, I didn't. Oh, never mind. I didn't pick up the Sigma. There was at least 30 no, worth of Sigma is. right there in the depository, but I had no idea <laughs> I was supposed to pick it up. Either way, what happened? I figured out that you do need to pick up this Sigma, and someone came along from the back and eliminated me from the back, which is, you know, it's unfortunate, but it's most of the time what happens when you play a game for the first time. You don't necessarily look. Uh, where'd you come from, bruh? Where'd he come from? Uh, I guess from the same rooftop you came from, Inspector from the Past. But not to worry, the Inspector from the Past kept playing and kept getting better and better. So then I managed to extract 69 Sigma, and I gave a brief explanation to my girlfriend who was with me in the call. Funny number again following you. <laughs> yeah. So basically but, what, happened, uh, what, what happened is we eliminated me from the back. But can you heal at all or you can't heal? You just uh, remain like that. I don't know. We gotta figure that out. <laughs> And we did figure out how to heal a little bit later. From then on, I, I got I just got better and better. This was probably my best oh, run of man, the night. Now the tournament goes from 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. for three days in a row. Now this part of the game looks much nicer than what we've seen so far. So I said I was gonna address the texture. Mm -hmm. Obviously, being early access, they haven't polished and even picked all the textures they will use for various buildings and various items and props on the map but this center part looks amazing uh, i will definitely use one of these pictures for my thumbnail in fact i'm gonna take a screenshot right now for those of you playing already or and for those of you who want to start playing i'm gonna give you a very quick tip i want to make a separate video where i give you tips and tricks about the game that i've learned but just very quick so you see the bullets on the right side where my mouse is right now and then you see the magazines here the magazine has zero out of 20 or it could be eight i'm not sure it's not really recorded very well so either way many times i have been eliminated because i ran out of bullets so what you actually need to do so picking it up and putting it in your inventory is not enough you need to actually take the bullet drag and drop into the magazine then take the magazine drag and drop 
into the gun. That is how you get the extra bullets. That is how you reload. Many people may not like this. They're used to just pressing R. But this is an extraction shooter. So much more like Tarkov than like Call of Duty. I don't know if you expected Call of Duty, but Call of Duty is definitely not an extraction shooter. This is. So a little bit more of realism is something I very much like, I very much enjoy. So here I was going toward this meteorite impact, but somebody else had the same idea. He also wanted to take the Sigma from here. Luckily, I beat him to the punch and I got the Elim. Shotgun to the face usually does the trick. I picked up the 11 Sigma from him and I also picked up all the Sigma I found in the crater, leaving me with 38 Sigma for this run so far. There was another meteorite impact about to happen here. I took all the Sigma I could and I was left with 99 in total. So the stakes at this point were very high. My heart was racing and I wanted to extract as soon as possible. I was one second too late to get to this extraction point. So I had to find another one. And as you can see, so you, you can see some doors have normal textures where some doors like the one on the right, right here on the screen has a sort of red texture you cannot pass through that is because their room is not ready yet that door is not ready yet and they have just sealed it up for the purposes of the early access that's why some of it looks kind of weird while some of the game looks absolutely beautiful that's just what happens with early access now i'm not a big fan of early access in crypto games i, I say it all the time but every crypto game is an early access anyway so what can you do at the end of the day at least we get something and i can certainly say that this game was a lot of fun something funny happened here as well i was trying to jump through the elevator but somehow i glitched through the map so yeah, I broke the game. Look at this tree. So they, these are the tree textures. They, they could have added tree textures, let's be honest. They, they could have. And they should have, for real, they should have. Because you can put Mario 64 next to this tree and it would not look out of place. <laughs> so just add tree textures for the next one, please. It's re it's bugging me so much, man. But I guess at the edges of the map, they didn't put too much detail into it as they did in the center of the map. The center looks absolutely beautiful. Invisible wall, not so invisible at the edges of the map. The water looks good. Like some of the textures look amazing, but then some of the textures are just not done yet which is understandable again for an early access now in total i have 250 something sigma extracted from just around an hour of actual playtime. because obviously I'm, i can't stay up until 6 a.m to play i have work to do i have things to do i have to sleep <laughs> the first person on the list has 4367 and my guess is that he played the whole time and my guess is also he is most likely living in the us so he took advantage from playing from 1 p.m until 9 p.m either way i won't be a sore loser so far i'm losing this tournament but nothing stops me from catching up just get a bunch of red bull and stay up all night as stated before the shrap token is currently sitting at 21 cents and here you can see their all-time chart they actually did have an all-time high in june of last year the all-time high was almost at 40 cents but th this was not in the bull market so who knows what the actual potential of, of this token is uh currently sitting at 51 million market cap and as i said the tournament they're doing is a hundred thousand dollars in the shrap token yes they do have a 50 million dollar market market cap but that doesn't mean that they can do a 50 million dollar tournament then no money is left for them and obviously they don't own all the tokens we've been looking at the tokenomics in our last video of shrapnel so we're not going to go over them again we saw how much the team has or rather how much the team will have after all the unlocks now what is the plan for shrapnel once this ends the tournament ends the early access ends what they want to do with the game once it fully launches? how is everything going to work how's the play to earn going to work how are the people going to get rewarded we all want to know well luckily i will explain right away so first of all their main and biggest thing is this user creation they want to have users create content within shrapnel they want users to create maps to create even game modes to experiment and keep the game alive for as long as possible if you've not been a gamer in the web two space mods modifications of games are usually what keep a game alive for a long long time you can look at minecraft as a very good example you can look at skyrim from bethesda that came out in 2011 still being played so much most Mostly because of all the mods although Skyrim is a wonderful magnificent game my favorite game of all time still whenever I play it now I play it with hundreds of mods so player backed content is very important and the fact that they want to support it not only support it but put it at the very heart of the shrapnel experience how can I not say that that is amazing I, I, I absolutely love that so the community will play a huge role in shrapnel's ecosystem they will have a sort of reputation system in place 
where each individual player will have his own reputation. And based on that, his vote is gonna be worth more, gonna be worth less. But what do you vote for? Well, you vote for community creations. Which maps do you like the most? Which ones do you wanna play in the future? Which kind of creations do you prefer? And then you actually get to play on those maps created by the other users and everyone within this ecosystem, the one that who creates, the one who votes, the one who plays, can also be one and the same person, but they also all get rewarded. There will also be player created tournaments is one of the things I forgot to mention which is also going to be player created, player curated and player missions where all players can participate in goal oriented missions related to extraction gameplay, related to content creation and also to marketplace participation and everyone in this ecosystem will earn rewards in the Shrap token. So Unreal Engine allows for this to happen, you'll be able to create vanity items and maps, you'll be able to mint them as NFTs and sell them on the Shrap marketplace also. All of this will be governed by a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization, and so players can buy gear extracted from game sessions and sell it on the marketplace in order to earn shrap. So also be able to extract various NFT items. Currently in the early access you don't extract items, you only extract Sigma because it's only purposefully made for this tournament in order to hype the game up and they've done a pretty darn good job at it. But once the game fully launches you'll also be able to extract NFTs. Now creators can make anything from vanity items to customized weapons, maps and also map objectives and then profit from the economy value they create. Then the curators who successfully discover great content for the community to enjoy also get to share in the spoils. So if you're one of those players that just wants to explore everything player created and you find a hidden gem, so to say, inside of the game of shrapnel, you will also get to share in the spoils. Now the landowners who make an upfront commitment to the ecosystem, meaning landowners who buy NFTs who donate in a way towards the game uh, they will also receive a fair proportion proportion of the value creation that was a tongue twister. So a lot of different ways to earn inside of Shrapnel. I'm supporting most of the things they do. I'm absolutely in love with this game. I can't wait to play more tonight once it gets unlocked. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to stay all night so it defeats the purpose of having this tournament for me because I know I can't be first place but I do have fun playing for that one hour when I can't play one one to two hours. I'm an early riser. What can I do? I can't stay up until 6 a.m. It's just not who I am. What can you do? But if you make the tournament like noon UTC time, that would make it so the Americans can play in the morning, the Europeans can play in the afternoon, and then the Asians can play in the evenings as well. So I guess that can work in a way. But I am also saying this because then it will be noon for me, which is obviously very good for me. So once more, if you want to play Shrapnel yourself, even after the tournament is done, we're still gonna be giving away our codes. Check out Tokenize360 in the description down below. This was a sort of first impression slash a little bit of a deeper dive into Shrapnel, how the game actually works. Thanks for watching. I'm leaving.